welcome back to another edition of Cannabis in Canada with Jason Wilcox. We're coming to you live 2014 Halloween party put on by none other than Jen Bennett for the Coalition Against Repeal. Once again, another fundraiser. We're now at $189,000 and we plan to continue doing that with events like this. Jen, tell us a bit about some of the hard work that you've done and some a bit about what's going on tonight here. Uh, what's going on tonight is we have a couple bands. Uh, we have the Dusty Aces and Poison Corn. They're here singing tonight. And uh, we have some guest speakers of uh, John Conroy, uh, Chris Bennett, Dana Larson, and our very own Jason Wilcox will be speaking later on tonight. Yes, I will be. And I am captain tonight. Aye. See a lot of friends and you see a lot of folks. Live by the code, it's the way it goes. I'm here with none other than John W. Conroy QC. John, you just gave a wonderful speech. Now, do you see a legalization for Canada with home gardens, like what we're talking about now? Do you see that as a future? Well, that's what I'm saying. If you can grow your own food, so indoors or outdoors, uh, you can grow your own uh, natural health care products. Uh, that's what this is. It's just another herb. Make them feel something. Get a little vocal. You know what? You've seen the attitude of the federal government. Um, they recently are putting ads on uh, paid for by the taxpayers about the dangers of cannabis. So uh, it's a troubling thing, but we know that if we succeed, uh, that probably won't be the end. Okay, welcome back. I'm here with Chris Bennett, you know, historian, excellent cannabis speech. Thank you, Chris, for going on stage for the coalition, for one. Uh, I, you know, I'd like you just to cap off a little bit about your take, knowing that for 10,000 years, people have grown cannabis for medical reasons, for, you know, fiber, etc. What's your take on them trying to take your medical gardens away from not only uh, medical patients, but in my own opinion, they're seeking to take them away from Canada in general? Oh, well, you know, it's unnatural, for one thing, you know, like, if cannabis is medicine, then growing it's therapy. And a lot of these people, it's like giving them a reason to get up every day. Hey, welcome back. Well, I'm here with none other than Dana Larson. Just came off the stage and really ramped up the crowd. Dana, thank you for coming out to the Coalition Against Repeal. What a lot of our viewers may not know is that you're a $12,000 donor. Like, you're the top individual donor that we have in the Coalition um, that isn't a company or organization. And, and now you've had a chance to come out and see what's going on here in Ontario. We raised 10000 We just handed another 20000 over to John. $180,000 raised by people like yourself coming out tonight and showing this. What would you say to other people out there who haven't donated $12,000 like yourself to the MMAR Coalition? Well, it's important, you know. This is uh, this is an important case that's really, it's had a big impact already. Uh, it's preserving so many people's rights to grow their own, which helps everybody. It helps keep marijuana prices down. It helps people have access to the medicine they need. It's, it's a really win-win, I think, encouraging that to happen. And uh, this case is going to be coming up, I think, in February or going to court. But these things last forever. There's always appeals. Our justice system is, is really designed to just take money out of people and make it expensive to get access. So I think it's an important case, and I encourage people to, to donate. And if you can't donate yourself, talk to other people and spread the word and make sure that people know what's going on and how important this case is, you know. So money and information and education, those are the kind of things we need. Absolutely. And on that note, once again, thank you, Dana Larson, for coming on Cannabis in Canada. And uh, yeah, we'll see you we'll all in the next segue. Cheers. Thanks again.